exclusive interview with Jen Sturger, the model and TV host who got caught up in a sexting scandal involving one of the NFL's biggest stars ever. Jen Sturger was 25, a hot model from Florida who had just hit the big time. Her dream job with the New York Jets. So this is true, he might be in some trouble here. He was new to the Jets too, NFL superstar Brett Favre, a three-time MVP, husband, and dad. I'm not getting into that. Then last fall, text messages, hardcore photos, voicemails, all public online. Parker, have you come over tonight? The NFL investigated. Favre denied the worst, and Sturger went silent. Now called the Favre girl, everything from a gold digger to a homewrecker, she hasn't spoken out until now. Take all of a sudden the story's public. What happens to your life? It's turned upside down. You know, I was trying to go to work, do my job, but how are you supposed to report on the news when you are the news? It was tough. It was embarrassing. It was humiliating. And it seems like you knew that there was, a, 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 in the moment, nothing you could say that would make it better. I didn't want anything to do with it. That's the thing. I didn't want anything to do with it in 2008. I don't want anything to do with it in 2010. I still don't want anything to do with it now. The only reason I feel like I have to give this interview is because for me, for my family, this has nothing to do with Brett Favre. It doesn't. I just want people to know me and to know that I'm not a gold digger and I'm not a homewrecker. We have a developing story. Allegations involving quarterback Brett Favre. The story Before broke in 2010, but the messages yeah, were sent said. in 2008 when Jen worked the sidelines as game day host for the Jets. She was there thanks to a big break in college. At a Florida State game in 2005, Brent Musburger called her out. 1,500 red blood Americans just decided to apply to Florida State. It just kind of exploded from there. Within a month, I was getting phone calls from Maxim and Playboy talking about whether or not I'd be interested in posing. And you know, both of those had been dreams of mine at one time, wanting to be a model. So, so it was just it was one of those chances. You just, you just have to run with it. And you ran with it. Absolutely. Posing for Maxim and Playboy, a column for Sports Illustrated, then the Jets. They created this role for me. It's kind of like, all right, Jen, here's a microphone. Go entertain these people. And you must have been getting all kinds of attention. You've been in Maxim, you've been in Playboy, you're writing, you're on television and you're inside that football culture. Uh, kind of just explain what it's like for, for, for someone like you to be in the middle of it all. There's nothing that feels quite as awesome as walking through a tunnel on a game day in the Meadowlands. It's just this surge of electricity. I can't explain it. It's amazing. And in the stadium that year, so much buzz about Brett Favre. After 16 years with the Packers, he joined the Jets. Before long, Sturger was in his sights. I was approached one day at the beginning of the preseason games by a man wearing a, a Jets badge, employee badge, who asked me, how would you feel if Brett Favre asked for your phone number? What would you say? And I just looked at him, my usual smart ass self, and I said, I'd say I like my job an awful lot, and I've been told I look remarkably like his wife. Have a good day. Have a good day. And I walked away, and that was the end of it. So you didn't give, no. didn't give the number? No. But somehow he did get it? Somehow. The text messages followed, then voicemails. Roger, have you come over tonight? Send me a text, love to see you tonight. Just got done with practice. You can make it, it'd be great. When you get a message like that, what do you do? Whenever I would reply, it was more so trying to figure out who I was interacting with. There was no actual, Hey, John, it's Brett. How did you figure out it was him? Just clues. They would always give me the pieces of the puzzle. 40 years old, gray hair, new to the team. It's, it only fits a few guys on the team. Last time I checked, no, only one guy on the team. But that's got to be something. Here's the, he's, the, he's the big star. He's it. It wasn't, it wasn't flattering, if that's what you're implying. No? No. He's married. And more than anything, I feel like it was intimidating than anything else. Why answer? Why answer? When all of this happened, I consulted several people 
but I said, hey, this is the situation that's going on right now. And I said, I really don't know what to do. Every single one of them gave me the exact same answer. They said, Jen, do you like your job? Well, if you like your job and you want to keep it, I just suggest you just be quiet. Do your job. Leave it alone. Just, yeah, don't complain. Didn't you send him a text saying, if, if this is you, smile at me? No, I don't really recall all of the text. I don't remember what was in them, sorry. But there's one thing she knows for sure. I don't know him. I've never, never met, met I've him. never met him. We've never met. There's never been an introduction. We've, we've never been any closer than this, and that was in passing in, in the tunnels and stuff before and after games, but that's it. I've never met the man. That was, I think that's gonna shock just about everyone who's got had any kind of passing acquaintance with your story. Never met him. No. And we are back with more of my exclusive interview with Jen Sturger, the New York Jets TV host caught up in a sexting scandal with Brett Favre. It was all investigated by the NFL last fall. They concluded Jen did nothing wrong, but fined Favre $50,000 for failing to fully cooperate with the probe. Sturger has not spoken out before now, and here we learn how she handled those persistent and increasingly graphic messages. What's happening in the, in the, in the back and forth then? It's, it's parrying, it's, it's... It's staving him off, it's, I'm busy. I'll talk to you later. I'm busy, I'm busy. He was like that guy at the bar that just could not get the hint. So he steps it up. I guess you could say that. <laughs> Favre allegedly sent Sturger several photos by phone, pornographic photos of himself. When the pictures come, what do you do? I realize I'm in a lot of trouble. I realize just how serious it is and that this isn't going to go away, so. But you are absolutely confident you didn't do anything that would make him think this is okay. No. And when he did, you didn't, no encouragement, stave him off, try to, you know, just sort of keep on doing your staved job. Staved him off and I did my job. And after these few exchanges in the 2008 season, it seemed like he had gone away. They stopped? They disappeared. Sturger left the Jets around then and started to work on a show called The Daily Loss. When the NFL no longer wants you, but there's Sturger always Sturger picked the wrong friend to confide in, a blogger behind the website Deadspin. He broke her confidence and published all the details in August 2010. I didn't want it to get out. I had dealt with it and it was over. The story comes out and it's like someone punches you in the stomach. Because before, when you dealt with it, you dealt with it by yourself. You kept quiet. But then when everybody knows, when it's out there in the public like that, there's this perception of you that people automatically start to think, oh, she's a gold digger, she's a home wrecker. And I'm none of those things. I've never met the man. You confided in this blogger. How did he get the, the texts and the pictures and the voicemails? I have no idea. That's something you'd have to talk to them about. You did not give the texts, the voicemails, the pictures no. to the blogger? No. You did not take money for them? No. I haven't made a dime off anything in this whole situation. Not from the pictures, not from Favre. That was never an intention of mine. He's reported that he paid $12,000 to a third party for them. And I think a lot of people wonder, how much third party were 10 voicemails in those pictures? I wish I could answer that. Did you ever give them to anyone? I shared them with individuals when I was asking for advice. But that's it. So presumably someone you knew betrayed you for money. That's got to hurt. I don't think there's an aspect of this whole thing that really doesn't hurt. <laughs> And what hurts most of all, the idea that Sturger manufactured this media hype to propel her career. It's never been my intention to ever play a victim in this whole thing. But because of the way I looked, like, I don't feel sorry looking at the girl that I was in 2008. Look at how I looked. People would say I asked for it. And I think that's been a lot of the perception that's been put out there, is that I asked for it. And it couldn't be further from the truth. You want nothing from Brett Favre? Absolutely nothing. No it was apology? never my intention. I don't want anything from him. I've never wanted anything from him. Does he owe you an apology? I don't really care if he gives me one or not. I don't, I just want to move on. 
Do you owe anyone an apology? I don't think so. I didn't really do anything wrong. If I owe anyone an apology, I, I feel bad that my parents, you know, I'm sorry that they had to go through this. I'm sorry that families involved had to go through this. That's, those are the only people that deserve to be apologized to. I closed the chapter on it two years ago, and I never thought I'd have to relive it and watch it play out in front of everyone else. And if you finally did meet Brett Favre, what would you say to him? <laughs> I don't plan on that happening. I don't plan on that happening. As for Favre, he has admitted to leaving voicemail but denied sending any graphic pictures to Jen Sturger. The NFL said it couldn't confirm that he sent the pictures but fined him $50,000, as we said, for failing to fully cooperate with the investigation. We did reach out to Brett Favre for comment, but he chose not to respond. And we'll have much more on Nightline tonight and tomorrow here on GMA, including what this all did to Jen Sturger's family and her take on the NFL's investigation. I'm casting for a new musical on Broadway. Broadway?